Welcome back to Think Create Code. We saw in the previous session that we can use control statements to implement choices. These statements are really powerful, and together with the for statement that captures repetition, will allow us to build astonishing images. We will explore the choice statement if in today's section. Remember, the structure of the if structure is as follows if test, then statements. Where the statements are executed, only if the if test condition is evaluated to true. This test condition is similar to the one from the for loops that we explored in our previous sessions. So let's start with a flow chart showing our choice. Let's say we set an initial parameter called s. We will draw a rectangle if this parameter is smaller than 10. The flow chart for this will look like this. So if we initialize s with 8, then the rectangle will be drawn. This flowchart can be easily translated into an if statement in our code as follows. The decision flowchart shows out that if a if a statement is needed, then we'll need to write something for the condition. In our case, s is smaller than 10, and then something for the statement. It will look like this. Let's try to run this to see what happens. The value of s is smaller than 10, so the rectangle gets drawn. Let's change s to 12 and see what happens. The value of s is greater than 10, so the rectangle doesn't get drawn. What do you think happens if s is equal to 10? Let's see what happens. I'll change s to have the value 10. Does the rectangle get drawn? That's right, it doesn't, because the test s is smaller than 10 is exclusive of the value 10. If we want s to be equal to 10 to be considered, we need to be using something like this. We call the sign smaller a relation and the statement s smaller than 10 a relation expression. Other relations include greater, equal, greater or equal than, smaller or equal to, not equal, which using s and 10 can be read like this. Greater than 10, s is equal to 10, s is greater or equal to 10, s is smaller or equal to 10, s is not equal to 10. These are really powerful constructs as of themselves. We'll learn other more complicated expressions in our next lesson.